some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we found ourselves in Detroit, Michigan with Carlos of the Darnham family as he's been picked up on a bench ward for missing a few court dates. Well, that's typical of any sovereign citizen, but let's see how this goes. So let's sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Thank you, Mr. Durham, for your patience, sir. And uh, on these matters, uh, the court is scheduling a pretrial February 14th. And this is in regard to case B12458121, August 25th, 2021. No dog license, same date, time, and location for B12458221, August 25th, 2021. Failed to vaccinate dog against rabies and or provide proof of vaccination. Three additional matters. Uh, state your full name, Mr. Durham. Renzo of the family Durham. Chair. For way formal reading and her plea of not guilty. Uh, Mr. Durham, the court scheduling a pretrial date on this matter via Zoom. You must attend February the 27th, 8.30 a.m., 36th District Court in front of Judge Bryant. Understood? I hear you. Oh, that's not what he asked. He didn't ask you if you heard him. He asked you if you understand. How do you understand that you have to attend that court date in lieu of reading that sovereign citizen garbage off the Internet? That is probably the more pertinent question right there. And this is a very serious non-assaultive allegation, Mr. Durham. And the court has concerns that you missed a court date on this matter, as well as two other matters that we're about to handle. And your capious history, Mr. Durham, tells the court you do not listen to the court as ordered to appear. And that's concerning where if the court were to release you on another personal bond, so you treat it as you have in the past and disregard court's orders and simply not appear. And uh, that's unacceptable, Mr. Durham. You must appear as ordered. So the court, based on your capious history, taking into consideration the information presented by counsel, including that limit to employment, status as relates to the ability to postpone the nature of the charge as well as the information alleged in the investigator's report is uh, setting based on your KPS history uh, a uh, is going to continue the bond set by judge Bryan of 110 uh, percent is that an affordable bond it's not. okay so on that matter the court is setting an unaffordable bond redetermination hearing how much have you ruined your life soft hard to the point for even a ten dollar bail is considered to be unaffordable what have you done with your life to warrant that i mean perhaps you should reconsider your life choices and perhaps lay off the lead paint as your preferred beverage during this bond you are not to purchase or possess a firearm or any dangerous weapon and you are not to drive any motor vehicle unless you have a valid driver's license is that understood drive your honor i travel I've never, I'm not okay. driving ever again. I travel, so I don't need a license to travel. Uh oh, we got one of these right to travel morons who doesn't know the difference between rights and privileges. Well, yes, you do, Mr. Darren. There's no, no, no traveling behind a motor vehicle. I'm not arguing right? with you, Mr. Darren. I'm telling Excuse me. I've already read the Supreme Court case law. I have the right to travel, sir. You have the right to travel from state to state as you wish, but what you don't have is the right to uh, drive a vehicle at your leisure, at least not without the proper insurance, license, tags, and registration. But of course, if you'd stop drinking the soft tarred Kool-Aid and get your head out of your ass, you would be able to figure that out. Okay, well, I have a right to impose bond uh, and, and conditions of bond, Mr. Durham, and I'm telling you, whether you call it traveling or driving, there's to be none of that behind a motor vehicle. You're not to travel if you're operating a motor vehicle or drive. No driving or operating of a motor vehicle, regardless of what you call it. Understood, Mr. Durham? No driving or traveling if you're the operator. Is that clear? And you're not to leave the state of Michigan. Is that understood? I heard you. And that's no driving, period. That's regardless of your license status. There's to be absolutely no driving. Or traveling. Okay, I said no traveling either. Driving is up. No traveling. Just put that as a positive. No traveling. 
So that means I can't even go to court if I can't travel. I can't leave my house. It's via Zoom. <laughs> it's via Zoom. It's via Zoom. No traveling. The court dates are via Zoom. No traveling unless court ordered. That's a violation of my rights. And I will appeal this in a higher court. Did you want to address his traveling? Counsel, did you want to address his argument that he can't, that he can travel? Um, he's going to comply with court orders. And that means no driving and no traveling. Is that correct? Counsel, no traveling. <laughs> Unless court ordered. Uh, yes, I it can't leave the state of Michigan and he cannot would he uh, drive or travel, which it, it, well, my understanding is him operating any, any motor vehicles. Is that understood? Thank you. Oh, yeah. you got to love how this judge is operating on this case. He's getting down to the soft tards level and laying the smack down on him using his own terminology. Pure gold. Okay, uh, Mr. Damn, uh, this is a very serious allegations. Again, you have a capious history on this matter. Uh, the bond was set by the judge when you failed to appear. You have a number of capious histories on this matter. It, it looks like you failed to, you were originally given a personal bond, then you failed to appear on about September 1st of 2022, given a 10,000 cash surety, and then you uh, uh, failed to appear again December 14th of 2022, and then a judge will give you another 10,000 cash surety. Uh, I, as a magistrate of counsel, stated, uh, have no, one moment, I'll let you address the court. One moment, Mr. Durham. Have no authority to uh, amend the capious bond as set by the judge for your failure to appear. So for that reason, the bond is going to be continued as set by the judge of December 14, 2022, in the amount of $10,000 cash surety. During this bond, you are not to purchase or possess a firearm or any other dangerous weapon. No driving, no traveling, unless court ordered. You will be fit with the GPS tether under house arrest if you're able to make bond. And no use of any alcohol or illegal controlled substance. Is there anything further, counsel? Um, I would respectfully ask the court to reconsider the GPS um, tethering on this. He's, he's missed court data in every matter before the court this morning, so no. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, I haven't. Anything? I didn't came to court a couple times on Zoom, on a tether. I didn't been to court. But it not uh, not all of the times it does not appear, Mr. Durham. It looks like you've missed court more than once on that matter that we just handled. Anything else on the matter? The county jail. I missed court on the county of the county jail. They wouldn't take me to court. I missed court because of the county jail would not take me to court. That's not my fault. Oh yeah, blame everybody but yourself. I'm not that fault for misunderstanding the laws or refusing to understand them to begin with. It's not my fault the uh, cops arrested me because I was driving under a suspended license without no, any tags because I read some sovereign citizen bullshit material. Oh no, it's not my fault the judge placed these sanctions on me because I was a complete idiot. No, 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 no. It's not my fault. Everyone else are the assholes. I am the innocent victim here. And Mr. Durham, the court has the same concerns, sir, that you've uh, had a capious on this matter as well as uh, the matters before the court previously. And that demonstrates to the court that you failed to appear as ordered. And that's concerning regarding your intention to appear and handle this matter. It looks like you're on a personal bond by the Honorable Magistrate Ramsey Heath, where you failed to appear on or about December 14, 2022. And a bond was issued at 10,000 cash surety. I, as a magistrate, have no authority to change that bond as set by the judge. So the bond is going to be continued, uh, taking into consideration any employment status presented by counsel as it relates to ability to post bond, as well as your capious history during this bond, no use of alcohol, no illegal controlled substance. You're not to purchase or possess a firearm or any other dangerous weapon. If you're able to make bond, you will be under a uh, house arrest fit with a GPS tether prior to release. There's to be no driving and no traveling. Unless court ordered. Look at this man. This is a man who looks like he's been defeated. He realizes that his sovereign citizen BS didn't get him out of this. Well, maybe your sovereign citizen BS is just that. BS. Oh, you gotta feel kind of sorry for the guy. But then again, if you really think about it, it's all his own doing as to why he got himself into this situation. So I really don't feel so bad for him anymore. He earned it. 
Okay, any questions or statements, Mr. Durham? You are being recorded. Anything you say can and will be used against you. And on that matter as well, you're getting an unaffordable bond redetermination hearing on January the 19th, 2023, Judge Sabri at the 36th District Court via Zoom. Do you have anything, any questions or statements, Mr. Durham? Yes, I do. This question is to Go you, ahead. the magistrate. Are you honoring your oath? Before you say anything, that was your attorney speaking and giving you advice but your honor you gotta see it from his point of view from his point of view the lawyer knows nothing and neither do you he's the only law expert around here well only in his mind. Are you honoring your oath, sir? I'm, I don't know what type of question that is, Mr. Durham. Do you have any, uh, your counsel has indicated uh, you have a right to remain? Now you don't know what it means. You took an oath to uphold the Constitution, didn't you? Are you honoring? I don't your know oath? what the purpose. I don't know what the purpose. I'm not here to answer your questions. I can tell you that, Mr. Durham, as far as regarding questions that don't have anything to do with the arraignment. I'm not here to just answer random general questions that have nothing to do with your arraignment, Mr. Durham. So if you have any questions regarding your court date, you can please let me know. I want to know who you are. You won't tell me your name. You won't tell me if you're bonded. You're a public official. Are you bonded? Mr. You Durham, bonded? I'm not going through. Mr. Durham, I'm not going through that. Uh, the so nature of my uh, employment. You got to give me your bonding information, name, address, and your your policy number, my, so I can make sure you're adequately insured. Just in case you want to violate my rights, I got to make sure you're adequately insured. Are you a public official and are you insured? My name is Chief Magistrate Jennifer Cooper. I'm answering that question regarding binding, Mr. Durham. That's not something that's going to be addressed today. So you're not going to put that on the record? I I'm just not entertaining a question that makes no sense during the uh, arraignment, sir. It makes no sense to ask you if you're bonded. Of course, it doesn't make sense to ask him if he's bonded, you crayon muncher. You're the habitually absent sovtard who thinks he knows the law better than everybody else, and he's the judge who is in charge of your case. He's the one that asks the questions around here, not you. And what's your bonding information? Does that make you happy, Mr. Durham? I'm bonded if that makes you happy, Mr. Durham. I do have a mouth, as indicated by statute. Mr. Durham, I'm not getting back and forth. Council, do you have anything further with Mr. Durham? company. Can I have you any of that so I can contact him? I gotta be able to contact him. No, Mr. Durham, I'm not. I, I gave you, I, I, I let you know I was bonded. My name is Chief Magistrate Kopark at the 36th District Court. That's the information. Okay, Council, are we can try anything further? Mr. Durham, I've said more than once uh, that's not, we're not going through that here today on the record. Uh, so, Mr. Durham, if you have any questions about your arraignment or a uh, court case, otherwise, uh, we're through with the arraignment. Council, do you have any further? To give me the name okay. of the bonding company. Unless man. you have anything else, Mr. Durham, we're through with the arraignment. Amazing. <laughs> Well, that's the end of the video right there, folks, and he has court in the next few days. I am looking forward to seeing that. In the meantime, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.